Tonight is the calm after the Mifflin Street block party, which has seen a collapsed porch and car vandalism in recent years. This year, police recovered a stolen handgun. Tonight, Grace Olch has recovered on how officers work to keep everyone safe. Most people I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it is the most people I've ever yeah. seen in one area. UW students love it. Madison police can't stand it. It's the Mifflin Street block party. This year, thousands of students showed up. It's been amazing seeing also everyone on this campus yeah. here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. UW students headed toward Mifflin Street around 11 Saturday morning, and police say by the middle of the day, the crowd swelled over 10,000. Our set team is here in a full team capacity. Um, and other supporting uh, officers are as well. So usual deployment for us. Officers here tell me this year's Mifflin Street block party looks even a little bigger than the past few years. MPD has been prepping for months to make sure they have enough people on the ground, especially after the past few years saw a collapsed porch and vandalized cars. So far, no balconies, but it's dangerously close. There's been a few that have been dangerously close. After an extra rowdy few years, some students took extra safety precautions, like putting a wood plank in front of their door to limit the flow of people inside and getting a plan together before heading to Mifflin Street. I mean, we all share locations with each other, so we know where we are at all times. Yeah, yeah. We have a plan to meet. Some, if we all lose each other, we have a plan to meet. Around 200 officers worked the Mifflin Street block party. Those teams were made up of Madison Police Special Events Team, Mounted Patrol, Dane County Sheriff's Deputies, Capitol Police, and Madison Fire Department crews. Officers on the ground say their busiest time is between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. By 6 Saturday evening, police say 44 people had been arrested, most for alcohol-related offenses. Three people were taken to Dane County Jail, including a man who had a stolen gun in his backpack. In Madison, Gray Salch, 27 News. Police say more information and updated arrest numbers will come on Monday.